I'm Stella. This video is for all my viewers who have been asking me to get started in exercise after not exercising for 10, 15, even 20 years. I was a runner as a young woman and I stopped exercise for 15 years. At 60, I started running again, but it didn't happen overnight. So this video is about 10 minutes long and it's a way for you to wake up your body. It's no impact, no equipment. I'm in my bedroom, that's my closet, and that's the door to the bathroom. So, you know, it doesn't take much. What I put on the floor is some little squares that I got at Amazon that are rubbery. All you need is a t-shirt, shorts, some running shoes. I'll talk about my shoes later. But for the moment, are you ready? You want to start? Very simple. We're going to start with some waking up exercises, so some neck circles. Just make sure you're standing comfortably. That's all. Just some neck circles like that. 30 seconds. These are really important ways to wake up going down. Next, shoulder circles. You know, I often get sore shoulders when I'm cleaning the shower, all this rubbing. So let's wake up the shoulders. And if you're comfortable, try arm circles like that. Just very gentle. You don't have to make a big effort. Just get your arms used to moving in this motion. Everything that we're going to do today is functional. Now, arm jumping jacks. Nothing crazy, nothing wild, just a simple motion. Functional movements are movements that we do in our everyday life. And when we wind up sitting in a cubicle, working at a desk, or doing just other things like standing at the stove and cooking and preparing food, we're not moving. These are W pulls. So you're in the shape of a W and you're just pulling your arms down. Again, very simple, very gentle. We're waking up our body to the idea of movement. This has to be a very gentle and easy process so that you can do it again tomorrow and the day after. Yeah, 10 minutes a day, you are worth it. Next, huh, this is my favorite, wrist circles. Yeah, all that time on the computer, all that time chopping vegetables, all that time sewing or whatever it is that you do, writing, painting, gardening, cleaning. Our wrists are so important and they get stiff. You might hear little cracking sounds. It's okay. You're just waking up your body. Now this next one requires a little bit of balance. It happens to be my favorite. So let's see if I can do it without falling down. You're going to Hug your knee and do a circle, see? So, hug your knee like that. Hug your knee and then do a foot circle. One way, the other way. The way you don't fall is by grounding yourself and focusing on an object. So I'm looking at you, the camera. You have another leg, so start, you know, do this just to give you an idea of what it'll feel like to balance on one leg. Because we do that sometimes when we're reaching for something. So here we go. Hug your knee, turn your foot around in a circle one way and the other way. This will take practice. If you do this every day, you'll be able to do it. Now, this is something called a hip hinge. You're going to put your foot out in front of you with your heel on the floor and hinge from the hip down. Just like that. How many times do we bend over? But we, bo we bend over and we round our back. Keep your back straight and hinge from the hips. Very good. 
Continue, the left leg. You should be feeling the waking up of your hamstring muscles, your butt muscles. Okay, let's do something fun. Hip circles. I know it feels kind of weird doing a hip circle, but you know, we might do a hip circle when we're dancing, when nobody's looking. <laughs> it's okay. This one is really good. They're car, hip car circles. <laughs> so you're getting in and out of a car or you're jumping, or not jumping, you're walking out of a difficult place, a snowbank, you're getting out of your car. These are important activities. Again, functional movements. And when I do this, I feel it in my hips. Sometimes it goes snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> okay, now let's do some knee circles. Very soft, gentle movements. It doesn't have to be a wild movement. Again, we're waking up our joints for movement. Motion is lotion. And this is what your body needs. Okay, now we're gonna give tribute to Jane Fonda. Lateral side pulls or lateral side stretches. You know, the 80s will always be with us. And I bet you You've done this move before when all those dance exercise classes used to be in vogue in the 80s. Not a jump, no jumping. Just like that. Now, we're gonna do an exercise called good morning. I don't know why they call it good morning, but sideways, put your hands behind your head and hinge at the hips. Just go down like that. Again, when you're doing this, tuck your tummy in. Don't let it hang. Just tuck your tummy in. It doesn't have to be perfect, just the exercise. You're waking up your muscles and you're hinging from the hip. Good, now let's do, do this, okay? Now, side to side with your arms. Try and do a butt kick. If you think you can, if it's not too much, then really go. Again, another Jane Fonda move, right? Very simple, nothing extreme. Okay, now let's do some reaching to the side. It's called a lateral lunge. Hips straight forward and you bend down and you touch as close as you can to the floor, outside your foot. This, you really will feel it in your butt and in your hamstrings, and maybe even your back. Keep your back straight. Excellent. The next move is a lunge with a twist. So comfortable position. Hold your arms like this, twist. I love how this feels. I really feel it around the waist. Again, this is a functional movement. How many times that you've had to twist yourself into the shape of a pretzel to reach for something, to get out of a car? Okay. Now, let's tone it down a little. Very simple. Squat with the arms. If it hurts to go down too deep, go as far as you can, as long as it's comfortable. I mean, even if all you do is this, keep your back straight though. And if you're going down, make it as if you're gonna sit on a stool. Your butt goes out as if you're gonna sit on a stool. That's how the motion should feel. Okay, now let's do some side kicks. Bring your knee up to your elbow. See, I can't bring my knee up to my elbow. 
Don't feel bad if you don't. This is nothing complicated. Just waking up your muscles. Okay. These are standing jumping jacks. Very simple. Again, your heart rate is probably going up. I know mine is. And you're feeling warm. And now you can do one of two things. Or you march on the spot, or you do out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Waking up a full body movement. This is a great warm up. If you want to go do an exercise class after this, you're going to go for a walk, you're going to go for a run. It's all it takes. So now, an easy little thank you stretch. And thank yourself for doing this with me today. And thank you for even being here. I'm so glad you showed up. It's important that you show up for yourself. If you like this, leave a comment below. If, if you want me to do more videos like this, tell me what you'd like to see. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Bye.